So very commonly, NASA likes to say, we found water on Mars. But when you look at pictures from space, it doesn't look like there's water. If you compare it to Earth, well, Earth is called a pale blue dot, and Mars is the red planet. Not red and blue, just red. So how do we turn this red planet into a red and blue planet? Let's talk about that. So in order to understand how to get water on Mars, we must first talk about the atmosphere. Now we talk about the Martian atmosphere a lot, but let's relate this back to Earth's atmosphere. So if you think about really, really tall mountains, you first think about pressure. So when people climb Mount Everest, they need oxygen masks or they need pure oxygen because the pressure is pretty low up there and they can't just breathe by itself. In addition, you think of snow. That's because at those lower pressures, the temperature is also lower because there's not as much energy that's being held in, and therefore, snow forms. Now let's go back to Mars. The Mars' atmosphere is only 0.6 kilopascals, which is less than 0.6% of Earth's atmosphere. That's a problem because liquid water can barely exist on that type of realm. There's a triple point, but there's not much of a range or a temperature range that water can exist. It's just a few degrees. Now what does that mean? Well. Here on Earth, we think of when you have an ice cube and it melts, it forms water. But at lower pressures, if you get low enough, if you get to about where the Martian atmosphere is or a little bit lower than that, you have a point where if you take an ice cube and you heat it up, it doesn't go to water, it actually goes directly to a gas. Now, that's a problem because if we want rivers and lakes, we're going to have to keep it so that the water vapor can exist. So in one of the previous episodes, we talked about the Martian atmosphere and how we can increase it. And if you missed it, the main point was, if we can melt carbon dioxide in the ice caps, that will not only raise the temperature due to greenhouse effects, but also increase the pressure. And by doing those two things, that will widen the range of where water can exist on Mars. So if we're able to effectively raise the pressure and temperature of Mars, where water vapor can exist, where is the water? As I mentioned before, we don't call it the red and blue planet, we just call it the red planet. Well, it turns out it's in three different locations, in the form of ground ice, in the ice caps, and in underground glaciers. In a previous episode, we talked about the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter and all the discoveries that it made. And one of them, if you remember, is it discovered a lot of hydrogen underneath the surface, but not any normal hydrogen, hydrogen in the form of H2O, also known as, well, water. It was ice water, but it was still water. It determined that there's enough water that if you melted it all, it would cover 5.5 inches above the Martian surface, of the entire surface. Which isn't that much water when you compare it to how much is here on Earth, but it is some. Now the next region, and also the most amount of water, is in the ice caps. Now sadly, only 15% of the ice caps are actually water. The rest, 85%, is carbon dioxide. Now there are certain regions, like the outer edges, there's things called scarfs. These are steep slopes that are expected to be mostly water, or mostly ice, water ice. And this is good because if we want to develop a civilization, that's a good place where we can go and mine that area just to get pure water. If you're able to melt the entire polar ice caps, this is a lot more water than 5.5 inches. This is about 35 feet that would cover the entire Martian surface. And when I say the entire Martian surface, I mean if it was a completely perfect sphere, with no mountains or valleys, it would cover 35 feet. Now we know there are craters and giant mountains and volcanoes, so yes, it wouldn't be completely blue, but rather there would be lakes and rivers and maybe even oceans. Now the last one, and one that's pretty interesting for civilizations, are the underground glaciers and ice lakes. Now these are predicted because of formations that have been seen on Earth compared to what is seen on Mars, and that there are gla or there might be glaciers underneath the surface. And what this means is instead of just having, by looking a meter deep, they could be anywhere from 30 to 100 feet underneath the water that are ice lakes or glaciers. And these are good because if you can mine those, that would be a great place for civilization. So what is the major problem? All of this is ice. Well, as I mentioned before, the pressure range isn't big enough, the temperature is rather cold, and it's way too cold to melt it at where Mars is currently, and we need to get a lot of carbon dioxide into the atmosphere. But there actually is a weird prediction. One of the landers a couple of years ago actually found out that there are a lot of molecules in the surface that are chalky. And this unique molecule actually when put with water, well, creates carbon dioxide. 
So it's theorized that if we started melting or got to the temperature where we could melt a little bit of water into liquid form, then it would react with the surface and create a lot more carbon dioxide, creating almost like a runaway effect, where if we would drastically increase the temperature, increase the pressure, which would widen the range of where water could exist. So let's say we're able to do that. Let's say we're able to raise the temperature and pressure to a point where water can effectively exist on the surface. It would look pretty beautiful, it'd be a great landscape, but nowhere near something that we'd be able to live in. Why? Well, the entire atmosphere would be carbon dioxide, and we can't breathe that. So in the next episode, we're going to talk about converting that carbon dioxide full atmosphere to an oxygen-rich atmosphere, and how we can do that with plants, the same way that it happened here on Earth. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you in the next one.